Hey guys, welcome to Parrot Playhouse. I'm here with Thomas and then I got Victoria over here. She looks super cute. There she is. There she is. I love you. I want to give her a kiss, but I'm not going to because we got to really be careful with our germs. Uh, so this video is on the coronavirus. Let me turn you over here. And it's a super stressful time for many people. It's a stressful time for me because my business has been heavily impacted. I'm a hairstylist, so you can imagine with that. And I've got bills to pay. I've got health insurance to pay. I've got a million birds and I've got a sick bird, Casey over there, my African gray, that's requiring a lot of special health care and specialists right now. So with that creates a lot of stress. And I know so many of you are in the same amount of stress and you guys probably have children and who knows you might have even more animals and things going on. I do have heart issues and I had pneumonia 10 years ago and it just really damaged my lungs. So there's a lot going on and there's a lot of reasons to have stress, but we have to be so careful what kind of stress we bring home to our birds and the germs, right? You know, we don't really know what this virus is capable of, but regardless, our germs are never good for our birds. And we've got gram negative bacteria and these delicate rainforest flowers, they can't handle that. So we always want to be washing our hands and we want to be super careful what kind of cleaners we're using around our birds, preferably just, you know, vinegar and water. And if you're going to sanitize things, you know, do it outside of the bird room. Make sure you wipe your uh, phones off with the uh, alcohol. I think it's like you're supposed to have like 70% or hand sanitizer wipes, you know, whatever you can get. So you just really want to be mindful of that and don't expose your birds to chemicals. So be really careful. So this video, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about uh, boosting your immune system, your bird's immune system, keeping your birds happy. So we got a lot here to go. So you want to have a backup person during this time if you should get sick. So you want to have a backup person. You want to have somebody that knows everything about your birds. You want to have a list. If your birds are on medication, what foods your birds like, if they're handicapped, what toys. You don't want a rescuer. You don't want, you know, a sheriff to come in there and take your bird and take them to the shelter. And then everybody has to put the pieces together because I have been, I, I'm a puzzle put together. I, I see birds that end up at the shelter all the time and I do get the call and I do go over there and then it's like you got to put the pieces together. What is this bird like? What is this bird scared of? Why is this bird look like it has a broken wing? Is this an old injury? Is this a new injury? So you want to have all this stuff down. You also want to have what your bird weighs and a scale. So you want them to be aware of the scale as well. You want to know if your bird's all of a sudden losing weight, gaining weight. You just want to stay on top of the situation. These are things that are really important, especially when your birds end up in a situation like at the shelter or in somebody else's hands. Let's talk about diet. Vitamin A is big. Vitamin C is big. We should all be on vitamin C, vitamin A, uh, fruits and vegetables, uh, pastas that are loaded with that. So these are things that have a long shelf life squash so if you can get squash get them uh, sweet potatoes get sweet potatoes you guys can make mash Woo! they can eat it raw Woo! <laughs> and you can freeze all this stuff right carrots thomas loves carrots do you like carrots yes carrots are great and then also bell peppers along with uh, ethically sourced, ethically, ethically sourced red palm oil. So this is ethically sourced. No animals suffered making it. We have the link below at our Amazon store. Many of these products, except for the fresh food. I wish I could send you guys that stuff. Um, we'll be at our Amazon store. So definitely check that out. Red palm oil is loaded with vitamin A. Uh, Harrison's has these awesome power treats. They have red palm oil and it's loaded with vitamin A. And then also, you guys, take advantage if you can get a hold of any pastas. Um, I like the gluten-free pastas that have quinoa loaded with good stuff, right? Quinoas and vegetables in it, squash pasta. I have pumpkin pasta down here. So that has a long shelf life and you can eat it, your birds can eat it. They also like to eat it raw, it's safe. It's just a fun, crunchy snack that distracts from all the drama. Also, you want to get 
Um, do you see this right here? So that is a big bag of the Higgins pellets. That's 18 pounds. We have that at our Amazon store. Kite Tech, Harrison's, um, Nutriberries. That definitely brings a smile to those little faces. So you want to definitely be smart. Stock up on food if you can, you guys. Okay, so when you're bringing home all this fresh fruits and vegetables, which I hope you can get, uh, you got to be careful because people are touching that as well. So this is what... I suggest now if it actually kills the virus I don't know but it's sure gonna help right so what you can do is if you don't have a big bowl like I have scrub your bathtub down with bleach make sure your birds are nowhere near that because it's not good get it clean scrub it with soap and water this is the stuff you should be doing once a week anyways a deep cleaning of your bathroom and you should be wiping down your bathroom every day and like something that has alcohol and nice and it's just Get those knobs, get everything clean, get your cell phone clean, and then pour, put all your fruits and vegetables, whatever, pour a bunch of vinegar in there with water, let it sit 15 to 20 minutes, and then rub it with your hands, rub it really good, rinse, and repeat, rinse again. So that'll help as well and help protect you. you and then um, apple cider vinegar, I can't tell you how, I, apple cider vinegar, I can't tell you how important this is. Uh, I do put a few drops in my bird's water every day and it helps keep that bacteria. It helps if there's any stress or God knows what. It just really helps. And you know, anytime my bird's poop start to smell weird, I'll start really, sometimes I'll do it twice a day in their water and that poop clears up real quick. That poop smell goes away. But you know, I always say, ask your avian veterinarian, but I love this stuff. And just make sure your birds are drinking water. Uh, if they're not drinking water, then use way less but I do have a I'll have a link below yes I do I have a video on this too so there you go you also want to make sure that you have plenty of toys for your birds and right now there's plenty of time there's like no excuse to make DIY bird toys right link will be below for that video too I've made a lot of videos you guys and then Parrot Town and Parrot Playhouse we have plenty of toys to sell like there you know there everybody's out of toilet paper and stuff but we still got toys and oh, keeping the mood up in your house you guys gotta turn off that tv turn off that news they're making so much money right they're making so much money they've got coronavirus killing people this and that and that's gonna get them a lot of views that's also gonna get them a lot of ad revenue money right so they're like the newscasters are in absolute heaven right now because they got a serious topic people are glued the longer they're glued to the tv the more money these uh tv stations are making and you can just imagine so get your information turn it off and then turn on tv for birds who does not want to see happy birds and listen to music i know your birds will love it you will love it and once you're done with that go take a walk breathe in some fresh air come back in do some stretching around your birds deep breathing and just try to relax it, I, it's a very stressful time i know um but we got to do our best and just glued to that television watching that really sad horrible stuff is not going to help anybody and it's going to create a lot of stress for your birds and you okay so another thing that you should be doing for yourself is uh, a lot of vitamin c a lot of vitamin d a lot of b12 and um, multivitamins i'm sure there's a gazillion other vitamins but this is what i'm doing for myself i like my kind because it's vegan i i, I you know i like vegan products uh, it's also gluten-free i have to say with gluten-free and it's organic so i like the spray i'll have all this at our amazon store it's really good Mm, mm, mm. it's vitamin c the vitamin d isn't that great um but you know it works and then they also have the pills and all that other stuff and then these are really good the b12s so i'll have all that at our amazon store in the multivitamin so that's super important you want to drink a ton of water you also want to have a first kit first aid kit for you and your birds i have a disaster video that i made it's so good i like really liked it it didn't get like any views i don't know People don't like disaster videos, but it's very educational and there's tons of information. Link will be below. If you do get an opportunity where you can stock up on rice, pastas, canned food, um, hey, it's always good to have that stuff. I, I do say that in my disaster video, it's good to have. And then if it's about to expire and 
you know, it's time to get rid of it, you can always give it to a food bank, which will be happy to have it as well. So, you know, spread the joy, spread the love, and uh, but don't spread the germs. So really wash your hands and don't feed your birds out of your mouth. Don't share drinks with your birds. You should never do that. These are delicate rainforest flowers. They're not equipped to handle our nasty bacteria, regardless if it's infected with coronavirus or, or coronavirus. I call it coronavirus sometimes. Hmm. How are you doing? Are you handling the stress of it all? I think you're taking it pretty well. All right, guys, we love you. Please take care of yourself. You guys mean so much to us, and um, we're going to get through this. We're going to get through this, and uh, eh, one day at a time. And we don't know the future, but we do know that we love our birds. We love our birds. All right, guys, don't forget to check out all the links. Buy bird toys. Buy merch. <laughs> yeah, because just, I'm telling you, if that doesn't make you smile, I don't know what does. We love you. Bye. Thank you for everything.